Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <gasps> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. It was just a dream. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. Why do you talk you like that? Episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. You're that one dude. It's okay, Alan. Just, Just let, let go. go. That was that one guy that I didn't trust. I think I punched him. Mm -hmm. I remember. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. What? Why do you dope there me up? There are only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. So... Oh, someone's coming. Oh. Hello? Good evening, Alan. Hi. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. No. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. <laughs> I get the message. <laughs> loud and clear. <laughs> Quite right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Yeah, when people now, that say that, that got punched out, they we'll usually don't mean you it. With my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. What do you want? How about you tell me what you want, huh? I know you want something. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Yeah, that's great. I'm gonna look around, right? I'm gonna snoop around your stuff and break your freaking chair. Uh. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, you got the video game? The video game of Night Springs? That's hilarious. You play the Xbox? Dude. Oh, okay. Are those... What are those? Tang? Flavored Tang? Night Springs? The hell? What's that noise? It's like a shuffling noise. <laughs> That's so funny. Can I play? Please? Probably sucks anyways. Encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Oh, like playing I the Xbox? In treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. Splendid, <laughs> just splendid. Yeah, shut up, I'm busy. What is that? No. Uh, break your freaking chair. Uh, throw it out the freaking window. <laughs> oh, he, he like locked all the doors. Lock that damn door. He's gonna go in there. <laughs> it's over here. Uh, bye. Bye. Oh, big bear. What's that? The hell? some reason that's just weird that like looks like it's significant or something like it means something it looks so, so pretty out there but every time i go out there it's like freaking hell now, 
Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can yeah, after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. What? No. You're in a very vulnerable state. I don't believe you. you understand I'm sorry. And accept this. No, I'm not going to accept Alice it because I don't believe you. Drowned. I don't believe you. You couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts. Everything and does revolve your around mind me. Has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. No, you're wrong. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. Let me go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. Of course but he's lying. the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. Right. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Why does the camera your look weird? It looks like it's off to the side. I can't... Your I can't level it. ...trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted? Actually, in your mind? no. You're a skeptic by nature, oh, What's up there? Both know this. How about you shut Everything up for a while? Be explained logically. Oh, look. <laughs> Loot. Oh, no. There's a cup of coffee over there, though. Damn it. Fine. Keep your coffee. Bastard. What's in here? Yeah, the camera is like weird. It's like zoomed in or something. Can I can I control the camera? I don't think I can. Could I? Wait, could I? No. Uh-uh. What the hell? Oh, a sundial. Is that what it is? Shadow, you settle for there is... TZ? Thomas Zane? I've had enough of that guy. So he was your friend, huh? I bet you killed him. You're the one behind all this, I bet. Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? No. Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. This is so weird. It seems there's a storm coming. Oh, Funny, I don't recall that. I've heard that before. That, in the weather forecast. Well, that means I'm right. This way. Follow me. Punk, that means I'm right. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because why is I'm that? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. Because you're lying. It's very natural Push. for you to think of me as your enemy. Push. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails my into the palms now. of my hands to stay you focused. Mm -hmm. Good, Once Alan. You good. That, we can begin the journey towards your you recovery. pretend like you're just a little good boy. Believing everything this little loser says. And then you break his nose again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. That scared me. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Scary, scary, scary. Who are you? Can I talk to you? Never mind.
Can I go? A real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Yeah. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay. What are you okay. doing? Sorry, sorry, You're sorry. messing with people. No. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress <laughs> with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. <gasps> oh, does he? Of course, but it does involve some small today. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Cra okay, so what, you think I'm crazy or something? What do you want, lady? What are you looking at? Get out of my face. Oh! Yeah, jack your coffee. So I'm gonna do. No, shut up. Oh! Let's read this. The Creator's Dilemma. The engaging new book by Dr. M Emil Hartman. The author of the best-selling Creative Flow, his groundbreaking techniques, engagement therapy, and the flow explained in his own words. Now available in bookstores across the country. I think, th I don't know, I feel like there's something related to all of this, because this is when it all started. When, um, Alice... Uh, when Alice... Come, Alan. This way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. What? When you feel up to it, you should continue. You want something. You want me to continue writing, huh? You're with them. You're the one that, that, that created the darkness. The hell? Oh. What was that? Read where? Oh, this is weird. It's like they want me to write it. It's it, he wants the manuscript. Long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. <sighs> what do you want? There's a TV in there. What was over here? I'm probably going to be able... I'm probably going to be able to go, um... Look around, but just in case. Oh. Hmm. oh what are you drawing? Hello. I've painted you. Okay. Really? <laughs> I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Oh. Yeah. He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Uh, well, if that's me, it doesn't really look like me, but okay. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Ugh. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna have to do, so I would too, but yeah, I'm gonna get thrown. <laughs> I'm gonna get thrown out there just like every other day. What the hell? Let's go talk to this guy, see what he says. More of your lies. Scary guy. You're ugly. Hello. My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> There's a storm coming. Oh, hey, it's you guys. Storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. It's hilarious. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. 
They're really? Well cared for TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. What do you want? Don't you think? No, because you want something from me. You want my manuscript, and you. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. I know, right? Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. What secrets? <laughs> crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. I know. <laughs> You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. That's, um, Valhalla. DiMaggio. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. That. You need to find the message. Here's Voice Sunday, actor DiMaggio. I forgot his first name. John rash, DiMaggio? But I kept it safe He's from the voice of uh, Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. My head was clearing and up. And Bender. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me. Of course. About everything. Of course. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. They did. Got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we guys. have a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. <laughs> Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the Damn witch. She used us all. Taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens. What was... What were they? Memory and thought. The hag. <gasps> she took something from you too, didn't she? I know who That's she is. What she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist... Hot call. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. Who's She's been oh, the lamp lady? You boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Ooh. Now it was already open a crack, and whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, Is that what happened? So tired. Built the farm close to the lake, a place of power. That's crazy. What's all with oh. We had parties there, man. You you should go there and have a party. Huh. That's very weird. Yeah, something's up with this and this guy's behind it and then that witch, that crazy witch that took that one girl's thoughts away. Ah, uh, now it's making sense. Not really, but <laughs> I'm I, I feel like I'm Kind of getting I somewhere. Hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Hey, Wake. What? Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? No. Typewriter's in your room. How about you? You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Yeah, that's great. But how about you go and kiss my butt? <laughs> Well, something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that 
There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. The hell? I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Why is why do they want the story so bad, these crazy peoples? What's up with that? I can't see. What's over here? Is this my room? Oh, there's it. There's there's the coffee. My sanity. Did that say Dodgers? Dodgers? <laughs> what if I never left the cabin? Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Okay, so... What, am I supposed to look for the key or something? Just go to my room. I'm just gonna go to my room. Just go to my room. Is it my room? The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Why are you watching me so so deliberately? What what are you afraid of? That I'm gonna leave? I didn't know what I am. chaos was all about. But it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? He got a hammer? Brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? <gasps> the... What did that say? Pick well, up... Oh, manuscript. I didn't see that. Fast, Let's read it. I haven't read this one yet, have I? Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Is Emil the person, the lady with the light, the light switch lady? The hell's going on down Martin there? kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. The hell's going- <laughs> It's my spore. I'm taking it. Um. We're <gasps> on a comeback tour, baby! What did you guys do? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy the old fart hit her hard. If yours, she was one of Tom, Hartman's goons, she had it coming. Destiny. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. <gasps> That's where he'd been keeping them. Come out and face the music, Bert. What are you it's doing? Time to pay the piper. Can you move, please? What the hell? Did you guys? What we you guys have? Road, man. You like you before, <laughs> My goodness. All right, I have a key, so um, let me just try the generator first, really quick, before I go out there. Can I? Oh no, I can't. Okay.
Did you hear that? I heard the witch. It was the witch. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm scared. What's over there? Damn it. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to go back down. <gasps> Guys? Okay, they're still there. Open. Look at this. The photo on the wall caught my attention. That's the one guy. The clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. I knew it. I'm going to bash your head in. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. What? For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. What is this guy up to? Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. <laughs> oh, man. Listen to this. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing at all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. You don't ever say this. No. She no. said that in the phone call. I try, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here. Even when he's home. Please help me, doctor. Because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, I'll bet you yeah, will. But doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call. Yeah. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. He called me and just... Oh, he called me and he played that so he could mess with me, the loser. <sighs> All right. You up? <gasps> Barry! Seriously, do you have any idea how much trouble you're Barry? <laughs> Ow! About time! Barry, man, am I glad to see you. Let me just get this cup we of coffee real quick. to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. Right there? Okay. Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. 
I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demand it to be treated as such, <laughs> or else I'd sue their asses. Yeah, so you speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. Yeah, but I bet. had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. I know. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman that son of a bitch who tells me you're here. They're both and I working come together. Pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. And what's, and what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. What? Yeah, you came in here with that? Punishment. Come on, pal. We gotta get going. You came in here with the cutout. Oh my god. You got beat up with the cutout. Oh, that's so... <laughs> Let me just check. Alright. Whatever. Alright, Barry. You ready? We're gonna clobber this guy. He's not gonna be there. Oh my god, and my manuscripts. Give me this. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. What's going on? Alan, please. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Yeah, punk. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Really it's way. worth a shot in the face. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go. No, Barry, don't start with me, man. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Take that, punk. That's what you get. <laughs> He's all happy. 